Uh, yeah, please do. <laughs> All right, sunshine over uh, the Trinity River. You can see a lot of the water out of the banks because of so much rain for this week, but uh, it is not raining right now at Clyde Warren Park. Everyone out and about enjoying this finally Friday night. Uh, you know what? Going into the summer months for us now, a lot of kids and parents, families are going to be out and about. Uh, here, take a look at May. So for the month, uh, we rounded out uh, 7.80 inches of rain for this month. Uh, so if, interestingly enough, not even in the top 20 of the wettest May on record, but we, it's a little bit different as we talk about spring. Take a look at this. Numbers last year, 8.23 inches for spring from March 1st all the way through May 31st. This year, 19.93 uh, inches for us. So uh, definitely seeing a very wet spring. Eighth wettest spring on record for us. Uh, we are seeing the uh, temperatures as we go through the next few days continuing uh, to warm their way on up to the upper 80s tomorrow. 20% precip chances Sunday, a 30% chance. Some evening thunderstorms in the forecast, 89 degrees. As we go to Sunday night, maybe a bit more coverage on the way by Monday, 90 degrees with some isolated storms around uh, that 30% chance sticking around. So not the widespread rain that we saw, not the rounds of rain and storms in the forecast. First alert radar remaining nice and quiet as we're going into the evening. Visible satellite showing that don't have a whole lot of cloud cover sticking around. Wanted to show you the first alert future cast. So into tonight, any storms that are out to the west, they stay out west, thankfully. We're going to be seeing that mix of sun and clouds gritting as you wake up tomorrow morning. Then off and on through the day tomorrow, that mix of sun and clouds gritting. You may be a couple of isolated storms. Do want to point out that we do have some storms developing in Oklahoma for tomorrow afternoon. They're going to try to ride their way from the north to the south. This complex moving its way in, at least right now, the latest thinking is that will die out by the time it crosses the Red River and moves its way to north Texas. We'll keep our eyes on it, let you know if there are any changes to the first alert future cast. As we go into the evening hours on Sunday, also watching maybe some dry line storms developing out to the west, moving their way east and then dying out before they work their way all the way through. But that's why up that rain chance to about 40%. So tomorrow, any isolated storms that pop up will be in that marginal risk of reaching severe limits. Uh, so we'll keep our eyes on it and let you know. But keep your eyes on how to get outside. 84 degrees right now with calm winds being reported. It feels like 86, so not too bad. It's a really nice night across the Metroplex. Low to the mid 80s on the way, a little bit warmer over near Mesquite reporting 88. That might be an anomaly for us, but all in all, it's been a great day today, a great evening for us as well. Into tonight, temperatures down to the mid 70s by midnight. Tomorrow, we're going to start out upper 60s to the low 70s on the way for you. We'll see temperatures warming up hour by hour into the mid to the upper 80s. I do want to point out those mid to the upper 80s. Look at this. It's going to feel even warmer than that as we go through the next few days. Feels like the mid 90s Saturday and Sunday, and then we actually get even warmer than that. Monday, 90 degrees. Tuesday, 93. I'm forecasting 94 on Wednesday and Thursday. Calm down, y'all. All right.